I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Myanmar. Th thank you, Mr. President. I, I thank you, Mr. President, for your opening remarks. I also thank Special Envoy Ms. Christine Buckner for her comprehensive briefing and her continued support towards Myanmar. First and foremost, I would like to reaffirm that I am representing the NAD-led civilian government elected by the people of Myanmar. Right after the military coup, the committee representing Pirongzu Loto, CRPH, was formed with members of parliament democratically elected by the people of Myanmar at the recently held free and fair general elections. In this regard, Mr. President, I am pleased to deliver the message of the CRPH at this August body. I quote, Mr. President, Excellencies and Distinguished Delegates, the committee representing Tirong Zulotor CRPH is the legitimate and duly elected government of Myanmar and must be recognized by the international community as such. The CRPH represents 380 members of parliament elected in general election held on 8 November 2020. Thus, the members of CRPH are mandated by the people of Myanmar to represent the democratic will of the people and carry out the duties in accordance with the constitution of the Republic of the Union of Myanmar. On 1st February 2021, the commandant chief of the military unjustly seized the sovereign power of the state by staging the coup d'etat in contravention of the 2008 constitution. The people of Myanmar from all walks of life are unanimously opposing such unlawful actions of the military. All actions taken by the military in violation of the 2008 constitution to remove the democratically elected government by force and state administration council emerge from such unlawful actions are, are, are deemed unconstitutional. Therefore, the illegal and unconstitutional military coup does not revoke the legitimate authority and trusted up on the CRPH by the people of Myanmar. Both the United Nations Charter and Uni Universal Declaration of Human Rights recognize the self-determination and democratic form of government. In this regard, the legitimacy of CRPH is in line with the international laws and norms. Over the decades, the military ruthlessly deployed brutal techniques to oppress the people from all walks of life in Myanmar. Especially, the military used unspeakable violent methods such as forecast strategies to attack the ethnic minorities in the border areas, and this action no doubt amount to war crime and crimes against humanity. At the same time, the military never refrains from using violence against the people who are protesting the illegitimate military regime on the streets. Both people of Myanmar and the international family have repeatedly witnessed these brutal actions in 1988, 1996, 2007. The violence committed by the military against the people of Myanmar continues until today. However, the military enjoys impunity and cannot stay be held into account. The Myanmar military overthrows a democratically elected government, shoots to kill the peaceful protesters on the streets, commit crimes targeting civilians, attacks the ambulance and health workers, arrest the democratically elected parliamentarians using unjust laws, issue arrest warrants without any legal basics, and breaches the fundamental human rights of the people of Myanmar. Not only do those actions endanger Myanmar and its people, both in physical and psychological forms, they also seriously pose threats towards regional security and prosperity of the international community. The military can no longer uphold the rule of law and pro protect the people and the country. Myanmar military has become the existential threat for Myanmar as a polity and civilized society. Now is not the time for the international community to tolerate the war crimes and crimes against humanity committed by Myanmar military. 
the international community must ensure that Cook has no place in the modern world as bound by the UN Secretary General. In that regard, we, the committee representing Pirong Zulu CRPH, duly urge the United Nations, the United Nations Security Council, and international community that aspire to build peaceful and civilized global society to use any means necessary to take action against the Myanmar military and to provide safety and security for the people of Myanmar. End quote. Mr. President, as the democracy in Myanmar is at the nascent stage, the free and fair general elections successfully had on 8 November 2020 in Myanmar is indeed a significant milestone in our history. It was set by the people. The people of Myanmar has shown their eagerness and attachment to democracy through their ballots at the elections. They had also demonstrated their desire to build a nation where all the democratic values can be flourish, a place where each and every peace-loving individual can play a role in that nation building. The landslide victory of the National League for Democracy at the general elections clearly manifests that the people of Myanmar are solidly united behind State Councillor Do Aung San Suu Kyi to overcome any obstacle in our journey to a peaceful, and prosperous society where democratic values will become a norm. Mr. President, completely ignoring the people's desire, the Tatmadaw staged a coup on 1st February 2021. That's what the day that the parliament, the new parliament supposed to convene its first meeting. The military detained State Councillor Do Aung San Suu Kyi, President U Win Mien, and other political leaders and civil activists. Since then, people from all strata of life have come out on the streets all over the country and expressed their disappointment with the military coup as well as demanded the immediate release of all detainees and return of the state power to the people through the elected government. The people of Myanmar are resolute for achieving the demands. I agree with the Secretary General that the military is not acceptable. The, the, coup, the military coup is not acceptable in this modern world, and the coup must fail. The people of Myanmar are resilient, perseverant, and united in fighting for the end of military coup. Immediate release of all unlawful detainees, return of the state power to the people, and restoration of democracy in Myanmar. It is attested to by the ongoing persistent protests throughout the nation since the military coup. It is crystal clear that we all do not want to go back to the system we used to be in before. Here, I wish to recall the words of Do Aung San Suu Kyi said in her inspiring book, Freedom from Fear. I quote, within a system which denied the existence of basic human rights, fear tends to be the order of the day." End quote. Mr. President, at this important juncture, the continued and strong support from the international community is imperative for the people of Myanmar in our fight against the military regime. Taking this opportunity, I would like to thank all countries who have expressed their support towards the people of Myanmar. I also thank the Secretary General, Special Envoy, and the Special Reporter of Myanmar for their support. But the people of Myanmar stay free helpless. Mr. President, Excellencies, in addition to the existing support, we need further strongest possible action from the international community to immediately end the military coup to stop oppressing the innocent people, to return the state power to the people, and to restore the democracy. As such, I would like to appeal all member states and the United Nations as follows. One, issue public statements to strongly condemn the military coup. Two, do not recognize by any means 
the State Administration Council and the military regime. Three, ask the military regime to respect the result of the free and fair 2020 general elections. Four, do not cooperate with the military and take the return of the state power to the people through the elected government. Five, take all stronger possible measures to stop the violent and butre acts committed by the security forces against peaceful demonstrators and end the military coup immediately. And six, support the CRPH. In conclusion, Mr. President, we will continue to fight for a government which is of, of the people, by the people, for the people. The people and the NLD-led government will double our efforts to make the country a democratic federal union. I wish to request the international community to extend their continued support in this regard. Mr. President, I believe that our fellow Fellow Myanmar people inside and outside the country are following this meeting via webcast with high interest. Please allow me to speak a few words in Myanmar. Minglawa, Niko Bona Mamiane, Tujin, you know, Daddy Miakam, Mimiro Sawyer Nere, Sita Anna, they move Chachin Song Daye, Mimiro Kanza, Don San Suchi. Tamraji Uimine, a cha, Matia Tinding, Kayataya Dumia, Chachin Lopeye, Nangano Ana, Pidu, and Pianle Yashi, Democracy, Pianle Yashi, Democratic Federal Piranzu di Tangye, Di Eero Bundi, Almiego, Miro, Alwa, Didima, Pidu Bidamia, Alo, Sisi Lolo, Nini Nunyon, a two to what? That way, Song and Nirago, a two, Jesu Tinshibare. เสร็จสอนเนี่ยตัวจ้าบ่กูเลยมิตรายะคันไต้ตวนอัดปาระคะเนี่ยดีเยรอบ่มุชะออมเนี่ยมีผิดปาระปีดูดาอธิกาบา